This is the third of five projects written up by Shelley Tan of Northwestern University's Night Lab. The goal of this project is to create a Mad Lib. So let me show you how it works first, and then we'll get into the code. Okay, enter a command. For example, eat. So I'll just go with eat. Enter a plural noun, trees, for example. So I'll do trees. Enter an animal, cow. Enter a location, main or the playground. Let's go with the playground. We could enter any location. Enter a singular noun, tree. I'm going to do something different. Let's do rock. Enter an adjective, big, okay, big. Another adjective, okay, small. Enter a past participle, played is good. Enter another past participle, sung. And then it gives us our Mad Lib. Eat, but eat only if ye be trees of valor, for the playground is guarded by a cow so big, so small, that no rock yet has played with it and sung. Okay, let's take a look at the code. So at the bottom of the script, we have a call to our main function. So let's go to the main function and see what happens. In the beginning of the main function, we have all the variables for all the input we want for the users. So command gets input, enter a command, and it gives us an example, eat. The user gets prompted. Uh, plural noun gets input, enter a plural noun, and so on. The first five variables are just getting strings, but then we have here adjectives gets an empty list, and we append to that list, adjectives.append, input from the user. So you could do this differently. You could have adjective 1 equals input, adjective 2 equals input, and so on. Um, but I thought it'd be nice to just store all the adjectives in a list, and then we can prompt the user for all the adjectives at once and just append them to the list, uh, rather than remembering what number we were on all the time. So I did that with adjectives and then with past participles as well. And then after getting all the input from the user, we set madlib to story dot format. So what is a story? Story is a global variable we have up top. And we use three single quotes so we can do a multi-line string that makes it easier than appending onto a string with uh, concatenation. And these curly brackets will get filled in by arguments passed to the format method, which we'll see again below. So we have curly brackets, dot, but curly brackets, only if ye be curly brackets of valor. These curly brackets, again, are just all the spaces that the user is going to enter something for. So let's go back to our format. You can see madlib gets story.format. Command, command. So the first two sets of curly brackets will be filled in with the same value, whatever the user entered for the command variable. And then the third will be a plural noun, the fourth will be a location, the fifth will be an animal, the sixth will be our first adjective in the adjectives list, and the seventh our second adjective, the eighth our singular noun, and the ninth our first past participle, and the final one, the tenth, will be the last, the second past participle. So you can see how this would be easy to extend. We just collect more information from the user. We add more curly brackets to our story variable. And we add the appropriate variables in the appropriate places to our story.format method. Once we've formatted, we just print out Madlib, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.